Hey guys, welcome back everyone here. My name is Angel and today's video is going to be a review and demo of the Pro Fusions Eyes Eyeshadows Palette. Guys, I've had these for quite some time and they've just been sitting there so I'm finally going to do a little look off of this palette here. So if you want to see my little review and demo off of this palette here, just keep on watching. We're going to be talking about this beautiful eyeshadow palette here. Like I said, I've had this for quite some time and I'm finally going to use it you guys. I mean the colors that come inside of it, it is so gorgeous. I'm going to read you the descriptions that come off of these palettes here first because I hate showing you an item that I don't even know what it's about. I mean, I know it's makeup. I mean, who don't know that it's makeup, but I like giving you the little backstory off of these palettes. It says the Profusions Pro Series eye case includes 12 shades and complementary tones to go with any look you want to create. Each of the three available options includes all of the colors you need from light base to deeper defined shades. Excellent for travel, this gorgeous tin case also comes with a large mirror and convenient Pro Series Jewel in it eyeshadow brush. So that's the little um story off of this palette here. Walgreens was having a sale. These were retail for $10 at Walgreens, but if you have the card, um, you pay $5. So I got all of these palettes for $5. So I think I got a really good deal off of um, these. They retail for $7.99 off of their website. And then they are in stock, you guys. I took out my Naked 3 palette and tried to compare it the same. To me, the packagings are the same. So if you have the Naked palette, um, this Naked 3 palette, you know how it feels because it's pretty much, it's a little um, tin can. So it's the same as this. And then check it out, you guys. They're like the same. So my Naked 3 palette, and then this is the um, Profusions Ice palette. So I thought that was really cute that the cases kind of match. And then on this side, it says um, Urban Decay. And then right here it says Profusion. When you open the palettes, you get the big mirror right here. And then you get the big mirror right here. And then you get the eyeshadows. I thought it was really cute. And then you get the eyeshadows right here. Check out the colors. And then you get the brushes. So you do get the brush. I'm just trying to give you a little... Um, you know just so you can see how they look so they're really this they're kind of the same so i think profusion bit off of that and then look at the brushes they're like the same kind of brushes you get you'll get a full size mirror inside as the naked three palette and then here's all the gorgeous colors you guys and i'm gonna do swatches for you guys because i haven't tried them and i'm dying to see if they have pigment to them because the colors that come inside there, let me take this um, paper off. Here are the beautiful colors up close without the plastic. And then you do get a dual double end eyeshadow brush. So I think this is a really cute brush. This is perfect for the crease. And then this is like um, good to put your eyeshadow on. I think this palette, it's really beautiful. I mean, the colors that come inside, I'm really loving. So I'm really dying to see how they um, feel on my eyes. But first, I'm going to do some swatches for you just to see how they feel. I mean, the pigmentation to see. Um, because inside of the pans, they're beautiful, you guys. But I don't know if how they're going to swatch. But mostly, um, the times, these Profusion eyeshadow palettes, they have good pigmentation. So the first four colors I'm going to swatch for you are the um, first four colors here. So this one right here, it's white out. Excuse that car. This one right here, it's nude. It's kind of patchy. And then we have gunmetal. And then we have ivory. colors we have it's crystalline which is a beautiful shimmery color i'm loving this color right here you guys and then the second one it's ashes that one i had to bit out the pigmentation because it was really really light i don't think you can see it because it's a light color it matches my skin the third color we have it's pink copper which is a really beautiful pink shimmery um color and then the last um, fourth color, it's Espresso, which is a matte brown.
Here are the last four colors of the palette, and I think these are my favorite ones, you guys. So the first color we have is Cappuccino, which is a matte brown. It looks shimmery, I don't know why, but it's a matte brown. The second one, it's Hazelnut, which is another matte color. The third one, it's Cocoa Sprinkles. This one's a really beautiful, it's like a purpley brown color. I'm telling you, the light's not doing it justice, but... It's a really pretty color. And then the last color, it's pitch black, which is a black with shimmers in it. This swatches off of this palette, and you guys, I love the pigmentation on some of them, but some of them were kind of patchy. I mean, I really had to dug my finger inside of the palette and like really, really like press it off my hand. But other than that, I really love this palette right here. The colors in here, they're really, really beautiful. Check them out once again. I mean, I don't know if the camera's not doing it justice, but check them out, you guys. I mean, the shimmeries that come inside. They're really beautiful. I'm going to do an eye look on my face using this palette right here. I'm not sure what I'm going for, but I know it's going to be something kind of dramatic. So I really don't know what look I'm going for. I'm just going to go ahead and play with the palette. And the color I'm going to use for my eyeshadow base is the color Ivory, which is this color here. It's kind of a yellowish color, but I'm going to place this for my eyeshadow base. So it feels good on my eye. It's like blending out okay. But that's just the eyeshadow base, you guys. So I don't know how the other shadows are going to blend out. The next color I'm going to get is the color Ashes. And I'm going to use this color for my transition shade. And we're going to place this all in my crease, you guys. I don't even know if you can see me right there. Can you see? I really like the way these shadows are blending out, and they're really pigmented. I thought they were going to be kind of different. I don't know, like, like sometimes when you buy eyeshadows, like, they're really hard, and you don't get no pigment from them. But these, they're, like, really, I'm not going to say chalky, but they're really buttery, I guess, if that's what you want, if that's how I want to say it. They're really buttery. And they're very pigmented. I get the color cappuccino and I'm just gonna follow the same steps. I'm gonna place that in my crease just to give it a little bit more depth. I hope you all you guys had a good um Christmas. Mine was I right. it was chill. We stayed here and we chilled. Um we made a ham and then my mother in law came out came out from she lives in Cedar Park. I live in Austin. And I don't know. We had a feast here, you guys. We had so much fun. Um, so I had a good time. I hope you all had a good one. What's those colors are blending? I'm really loving the way they're blending out. And check it out, you guys. They're really coming out really pretty. And then now I'm going to go in with the color Hazelnut. It's this beautiful color here. It's another matte color. And then I'm going to place that and my crease as well. So what I'm doing is I'm just stacking up the colors because you want to start from light to dark to get that beautiful um, effect going. You know what I mean? So we're going to go from light to dark. Now I'm going to go with the color Espresso and use this in the outer corner of my eye. And then all the colors I used on top, I just went ahead and placed them on the bottom of my lash line. This one feels kind of rough. My descriptions, right? You guys, I don't know. Sometimes I don't make sense to myself. Okay, and then this color, we're going to go ahead and um, blend it on top of our lid. And we're going to go in, not all the way, but half of the way. I 
I'm really loving the way it's starting to come out. It's starting to look beautiful and then the colors, they're blending out really good. So the next color, I'm going to go in with the color, it's pitch black, which is the black color. And this color I'm not going to use a lot. I'm just going to um, barely tap my brush in there and then tap off the excess. And then this color, I'm just going to place right here in the outer V. Just to give that V a little bit of definition right here. with the color pink copper and just with my finger I'm gonna place that on my lid because I feel with my finger I'll get more um, pigment instead of on a brush and then I didn't want to use any like um, eyeshadow base for this because I just wanted to see how these color will perform on their own because I know where they where they base it'll like make them pop but I just want to see how they pop on their own they're really pretty color I mean I just have to keep um, putting this color on just to build up the pigment but it's a really pretty color I'm gonna get the color crystalline and I'm gonna put this in the inner corner of my eyes and pretty much this is the tutorial on this eye look So let's bring them off of the Profusions Eyes Eyeshadows Palette. And you guys, this palette right here is so freaking amazing. I mean, the colors you get inside, check them out. They're so pretty. And then you do get a dual in eyeshadow brush. I mean, the colors, once again, some of them are kind of patchy. But other than that, once you build up the pigmentation, they're so gorgeous. And here's the eye look I did use in the palette. So I freaking love the way the colors swatch out on my eyes. They're so freaking pretty, guys. So I don't know guys, if you want to see the um, review and demos off of these other palettes here, because like I said, um, I got these on sale at Walgreens, they were only $5, and then on the website I think they're um, $8. So I have the other palette, which is the Naturals Eyeshadows palette, and then I picked up the um, Rose Lips palette, and then the Contours palette. And then I also have the other lip one, which is the Plums one. So I don't know, if you want to see a review off of these, give me a thumbs up, or let me know in the comments below. Or if you tried any of these palettes, let me know your um, thoughts on them. Because me, personally, I freaking love them. I mean, like I said, some of them you have to build up the pigmentation, but they're really pretty. Check out the swatches once again on the four colors that I love this video give me a thumbs up let me know if you tried any of these palettes right here and until next video i'll talk to you soon mm -hmm. bye you guys